Hi, this is Belinda, Aussie Stitcher, coming to you on this Thursday, the 8th of October, 2020. Not long until the end of the year. I hope you guys had a fantastic month. Um, I had a very busy month. As you know, I've been working at the school doing COVID cleaning. I've got a kid running to the door. It's okay, just walk through. And... Um, so I've been working there four days a week and then school holidays have started. This is towards the end of the second week and I picked up work at the local IGA. So I'm working a couple of days there during the school holidays as well as every Friday now during the week, unless they don't need me. So it's been busy. On top of that, my darling kids gave me their cold right at the beginning of the school holidays. That's why I sound a bit nasally and everything. And I will get completely over it. Like I am over it, but you know, I'll sound better and feel a lot better as soon as holidays are finished, because that's what happens. Right, so between all, all of that, um, uh, September wasn't as a stitchy month as it has been. No surprise. Reality speaking, no surprise. Um, so I got 4,572 stitches and around 800 back stitches. Um, and that's counting them as a full cross as 800. I did a lot of back stitching and I don't normally count my back stitches. So I did an estimate, but since I never count my back stitches, an okay estimate really um, so but you know between work kids cleaning because you know stitching is a hobby it's not everything um, it was a lower stitching month that and the kids were sick and things happened um, the kids are going well. Sophie has actually spent the whole two weeks up at our boss's station, loving it. She's done what's called a muster, which is when they bring in a group of animals. This particular time was cattle, so they bring in all the cattle off the station. Now their station is roughly 500,000 acres. So it's not like an average farm is about 10,000, five to 10,000 acres. You obviously can own more farms, um, but that's an average size farm is about probably 5,000. And then you, most farmers actually add on, but you tend not to go over say the 15, 20,000 acres. 500,000 acres is actually a small station. It's not a large one by any means. Um, so you can't just, go into a paddock with a motorbike and round up um, the animals. You actually have to get in like a helicopter to come in and help find where the animals are. And then you have um, people on motorbikes in what they call bush buggies, which is like an enclosed um, thing. They didn't have horses. McKay's like horses, but they didn't use horses this time. Um, and then you go out and you bring the animals into the yards and then you process the animals, um, mark them that you need marking, and do all that kind of stuff. So she's been doing that and loving it. Absolutely, she's even loving the 5 a.m. starts. She even got a helicopter ride. How cool is that? Um, the other kids have been hanging around with me. We've gone a couple of places together. Um, we went to a museum, um, playgrounds, in between working, because it's been a bit different. I've never worked during the school holidays. So the kids, it's been an adjusted. You want to say hi? Hi. She's going off to see her dad. Yeah. Yep. We're never to come back for his coffee in about 40 minutes. Yeah. This has to be done by then. Um, so that's been an adjustment to change as well, not having Sophie here. Because she's the oldest, she's a bit more responsible. Um, and Iona and Michaela's just had to step it up a bit. But they've been awesome. The kids have been actually really good. William's probably been a bit clingy. They're not home alone, by the way. Um, well, they are, but they're not. Um, my husband 
is here and he just works around the house when I'm working. So he's with literally two minute walk, but he's still working. And the kids can go up and join him in that. So no panic buttons of where's the kids. Either that or like my parents were here for a couple of days. <coughs> Excuse me. My parents were here for a couple of days. Um, so they looked after the kids as well. And they went to friend's house. So, I'm going to stop this and have a coughing fit and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've also got a bit of allergies happening as well. Right, let's go in to stitching. Ah. So, first up is I've had one, two three, four, five new starts, randomly, and then one, two um, whips. So the first off was a new start for Stitching and Recovery Harriet's birthday. And I started the embroideress by Joan Elliott. Look at that beautiful blue skirt. And I placed her in, I don't know if this was one of the newer bags, but it's in my stitch and button bag. Yeah, I can see it. And I stitched this, started this, and I did 597 stitches. It's on um, 28 Count Barbie Girl by Carla Cassades. Goodness, my lighting is pretty bad today. And that's my start. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, that's my start. Some days I have good lighting, I mean the sun's out, everything says normal. I just don't have it as good. <clears throat> My next start is a start that I've planned for years and I keep missing her birthday. But this year I didn't. I started Royal Holiday for Sarah stitching mummy's birthday, obviously. And this is stitched on 32 count Belfast by Picture This Plus in Glacier. And I did 509 stitches. Other one, other one, please, other one. Oh. So I basically went across the top. Oh, there we go. Looks a bit better. So it's I mean it's gonna look gorgeous on this fabric. I'm really happy with my pick on this one. And I am glad it's finally started. Okay. My next start is with Lisa from Lisa Stitching and Stuff in New Zealand and Vicky from Stitch and Button in America. And I will insert the picture here. It's a charting creations design. So this is what it will look like. And I did 502 stitches. And that's my start on 25 count. A 
and there's like a gazillion colors right there but it's going to look beautiful and reality speaking not that big so oh my goodness not liking this light but not all I can do about it so <clears throat> excuse me uh, that one started then I pulled out Earth Goddess and I worked 1901 stitches on this plus the 800 back stitch here's my before pick sorry <clears throat> sorry here is Earth Goddess by Joan Elliott And this is what she looks like now, once I open it. So, all the stitching has been done. And I finished off the back stitching around um, the mushrooms and down here in the skirt that wasn't done. And then I did the circle that drove me insane. insane. So that's in chronic, back stitched in chronic. So all I have to do now is the back stitch in her skirt and then bead it. Oh, and the bit of back stitching on the um, butterflies around here. And then she'll be done. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, she is beautiful. That back stitching was a pain in the rear end. And I've still got more chronic back stitching to do. Where is it? Um, I've used that much of my second reel for the chronic in the back stitching. Um, I think even if you're a very frugal um, user, I would still recommend getting a second spool just in case. Um, because I definitely needed it. I used, well that whole circle was done with this and there was a bit of back stitching in, it, in the grass and I had to use this as well. So I would personally use it. Sorry guys, I just need to keep having a little sip for my throat. Then I had another sale start with Rags to Riches with Laura Reed from the Solvac, Solvac Farm. Hopefully I said that right, Laura. I'm really apologizing. I should have wrote that down. I didn't write anyone's channel down. So, and I know Harriet's has changed. So I might have to relook at that. But we started Rags to Riches. I am really sorry if you can hear my washing machine, but I have to get washing done. I am really really sorry and I did this on hand dye by Stephanie um, vanilla latte 32 count and I did 530 stitches And I started up the top because I'm doing the two on the one piece. Oh, no, I also forgot my board. And I have already two lots of chronic in there. But they should fit comfortably and I also have fabric left over. Which is what I was trying to go for. I actually really like this colour. It's a nice neutral. And this is in one of my new bags that I got from Stitch and Button. Which has that on the outside. 
Michaela, stop spraying, please. Um, a little birdie there. And that is the inside. I love it. And my last new start was also a sale with Sarah from Our Stitching Kingdom. And we started the Bliss Flurry. Yes, considering you're on a farm. You do. Turn off the light. And I had to use an Alice in um, Wonderland needle minder because she loves Alice Wonderland. And I started this on 28 count Arctic from Picture This Plus, Lagana. And I did the grand total of 523 stitches. Um, and I started in her knee. So it looks like that. Yeah, that's roughly. machine is so loud. There. So the middle was her knee just in there. So and this is also in one of my new bags. I'm pretty sure. From Stitch and Button. So today's Good Mood is sponsored by coffee. And we've got a little coffee cup. Um, zipper puller. And then in the middle is cakes and cookies and words about that kind of stuff. So. We're up to the final whip. And that is Spring Queen by Mirabilia. And I'm still stitching on her, but so far I've done 1,093 stitches. I've done a bit more than that, but that was my count for all the challenges so far. Here's my before pick. And here we are. So I've basically just been working across in here. And this is stitched on 32 count Belfast by Picture This Pass in Highland. Pass. Plus. Not pass. Plus. Loving it. That's my whips. Right, now for the gigantic thing that is the stuff that I brought. So, as I have alluded to, I got a couple of orders from Stitch and Button. Okay. Oh, and a couple of those needle minders were from Stitch and Button as well. So, I got these ones. This one here says, toss your hair in a bun, drink some coffee, put on some gangster wrap and handle it. Um, that's what she said. That's something Vicky says all the time. Um, I'm not all there myself. I cross stitch, I don't kill people and Wonder Woman. Um, Self-rescuing princess. It's another one of her ones that I got recently. So, I also got these awesome little um, pins to help keep that extra fabric up. And they work really, really well. 
I would recommend you get two um, in a pack. Here's some more needle minders. Sorry, not sorry, and I drink coffee like it's my day job. Surprise, surprise, I got that one. So, I also got this bag with that, and it's an aeroplane. Is it an aeroplane? Cactus, sorry. Nope. Bird with a envelope. I knew that. I got this coffee bag with a smaller pouch one which is good to hold your little things like your if you're traveling in that these are really awesome and this has got a coffee cup with a spoon not that anyone can see it anyway it's there I got the sleeping sloth with a sleeping sloth baggy thing and I've already I've already changed whips and put something in here but I got the strawberry one and I put my strawberry fields forever in here um, got a strawberry there and some gingham she has some bags, I think, still for sale if you're interested. She definitely has needle minders and a whole bunch of other cool stuff um, in her shop. And she, I know for a fact she's cutting out Christmas bags. I did a colour cassade order. And I got some rings for the fancy floss that I use because I put them on rings. I also put all my DMC on, the bigger rings. I've got another kid there. So all my 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s are on massive rings so I can just flick through and they're in um, Ziploc bags, all my extra um, floss so that it's easier to find when I need to um, stock my master set or kit up. I also brought some more 11 by 11 Q-snap covers and they were like strawberries. That's not it ones because that's the one she's had my one definitely needs a wash so I got two more plus she has on her site um, fabric ready to send and I got myself some 28 count Lugana old style gold digger old style map and it's um, sparkly I did my very first order from a stitch in time in Melbourne, uh, not Melbourne, Hobart. I ordered some more Q-snap. Um, I noticed in one of the games I was playing in Semi Sane, which is open if you want to join, that um, I needed a cup of extra to do the, like they did in, in June, in July, I had those four whips that were playing. Yahtzee? No, you know. Or you know with. Um, so you know if you're Australian apparently, and you know if you actually say it correctly in every other country. Uh, and I realised I really needed another set, so I got some. I got some 18 count Black Ada for something I would like to start. I got way more than I needed. I think I got way more than, I, yeah, way more than I needed. But I decided to get a little bit extra. And I got some threads that I'm kitting up for different things. So, Taramasu from the Water Lilies. Gentle as Art Green with Envy. It's a brighter. Mulberry 
and gentle art. Old hickory. And then from Weeks, Star Wars, Pamelio. They were really awesome. First time ordering, we'll be ordering again. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite store closed down, Journey of a Stitcher. If you haven't heard the news, I'm sorry, they've already closed down. I don't know if she'll come back, but she had a closing down sale. Who am I to refuse a closing down sale? Not my favorite store. I was so sad. So I got 28 count petrol blue. Yeah, a bit like that. It's a really foresty green. Um. Say what color? Pre cut that one. And this one. I'm sure they have a name, I just can't readily see it. So we're gonna move on. I got this chart, which is the Peony Garden. And it has one, two, three, four, five, ten water lilies. Planning not getting get kit up for a while, or very slowly kit up. So pretty. Um, his eyes on the sparrow, the heartstring sampler. Hands on design, the Santa key. Consider the lives. I love this, but I don't like, I'm guessing it's Adam and Eve. Um, I don't know if I will change it slightly or not, but I do like this design otherwise. Cut string designs. Um, the heart is a friend. I shot an arrow in the air, it fell to earth. I knew not where, for so swiftly it flew, the sight could not follow it in its flight. I breathe a song in the air, let it fell to earth. I knew not where, for who has sight so keen and strong that it can follow the flight of a song? Long, long afterwards, in an oak, I found the arrow still unbroke. And the song, from beginning to end, I found again the heart of a friend. So that's from the traditional sampler chart. I got this and then was informed that someone's giving me as a gift, so I'm passing this on to someone already. So... Um, Fairy of the Rain. So my version is going to someone else. Which happens sometimes. And then I got um, Teresa's Co. Connaught Creative Whims. And it comes in a book. Um, celebrating 15 years of needlework. It's just the two designs, I'm pretty sure. No. No. I haven't actually picked through this. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen designs. Oh, and if I actually read the front, a collection of 15 designs. Yes, Belinda. Um, I actually got it for this. I thought that was cute. 
but there are some really cute there's a snowman there's a santa which i won't do a scarecrow a merry christmas which looks pretty cute um a dog and a chicken a witch yeah it's eggs a sunflower by the looks of it yeah not bad at all um i also did A very very and I'm not gonna go through them order on threads um, so I can finish getting up some of the stuff that I want not if I don't start it this year then I just wanted these on hand so and that is my very enormous oh sorry I forgot one of the charts from a journey of a stitcher the joys of all time, blackbird designs. Oops. The sampler picture above was the inspiration for this pattern. This is a small English motif sampler. It was stitched by Catherine Williams early in the 19th century. She did not add a date to her piece. So that's what it's taken from, inspired. Right, we're done. Um, I do have a one, two, three stitch order because I did some 36 count um, fabric and I did an order with colouring cotton for 36 count fabric. So that's, I don't have any of that really left. And as far as I'm aware, oh, and I'll have another stitch and button. I do not need any more bags. I do know this, but her bags are gorgeous. Plans. I know I very rarely say anything about plans because I basically don't have any. I want to finish Earth Goddess, but that will get done when it gets done. Stitch on Spring Queen and then work on my other whips. I am not going to reach all my goals. I've started way too many things to finish my goals. I spent too much time on starting things instead of stitching to reach my goals. I am going to do the no year, no start. I don't know if I've said that before. Um, there is a group run by Aussie Lisa from Shady Tree Stitches, um, Natalie from Knitting Nat Stitching, um, a lady called Joni Carla, she's got a floss tube and I can't think of what it is, I will link it below. Is there another one? There is another one. Lisa, Natalie, Joni, Carla. And I blanked on the last person. Um, it's, I'll link the group below. They're doing like you donate $5 for the chance to be the last person standing and you get like a division of the money back. From first second and third um, they will explain it better they've done a really good job with the rules and the expectations I will link the group if you would like to have a challenge with a reward at the end I'm in that group and I've posted my whip album but I'm not doing that I have stitch and button as my whip manager I'm basically just gonna see how far I can go um, can I go a year can I go longer is it shorter can I go a month um that is basically just what i'm doing um just doing it myself with vicky keeping a real eye on me right i'm going to clean up my mess now this is my longest video in a long time um i hope everyone has another good month um i hope everyone's okay sending out positive thoughts and hugs if you're not and yeah hopefully next month I wouldn't say necessarily a better stitching month but maybe I get a finish in maybe have a good time happy stitching bye